Cascade control is a control system in which a secondary or slave control loop is set up to control the variable that is a major source of load disturbance for a primary or master control loop. The controller of the primary loop determines the set point of the summing controller in the secondary loop. So the following figure here shows both uh, primary and secondary loop. We can see in green block is the secondary loop and in the yellow block is the primary loop. So let's look at the secondary loop for the first consideration. So in the secondary loop, it is a, a common uh, closed loop arrangement where we have the set value over here and we have feedback, negative feedback and we have summing junction and this is the error by comparing the set value and the measured value of PV and this error will be fed into secondary controller and this controller will determine what is the suitable output for this secondary process and there will be a measurement to monitor the process variable or output of the secondary process via this loop we, we name it as secondary measurement so this is one closed loop and the controller can be proportional pi pid uh, as uh, we have learned earlier now look at the greater part of the controller so we have the primary loop the primary loop has its own set value and it has the feedback from the output which is the process variable and output of the summing junction will be error between the set value and the process variable so the primary controller will determine the suitable output here as the controller output but after considering the error value and the error uh, sorry the output of the controller primary controller will be a reference or the set value for the secondary controller so here we will have the output of the secondary controller will be fed into the process and the loop is closed so we can see clearly that the primary loop consists of primary controller primary process and measurement will also depend on the performance of the secondary loop so primary controller will send the control signal which will be regarded as the set value for the secondary the secondary will perform the control action and re by referring to the set value given by the primary and it will make sure the output will follow the reference of the primary controller and the output here will give some effect to the primary process and therefore affected the output of the primary process as well so the loop continue so this is what we call cascade control 